Friends, today is Thursday, the 25th of June, and we just completed a celebration of the Eucharist. And we also just completed the seventh chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel, seventh chapter, the very conclusion of the teachings of Jesus from chapter five, six, and seven, all are a part of the Sermon on the Mount. And it officially ended a couple of verses prior to today's gospel, but today's gospel gives us a kind of, it's a sort of period, a dot on the whole sermon that is given by Jesus. And basically focuses on people who will live by these words. People who will live by these words. And it says that the crowds were astonished at his teaching. The crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority. The teachings themselves are astonishing, as we'll see in just a moment. But the fact that Jesus spoke on his own authority is what astounded them and astonished them. Spoke on his own authority. What other authority would there be? Well, the Torah itself. For a thousand years, the Torah was the law of the land. It defined everything about religion and culture in Israel. In Israel. And along comes Jesus with his own words. I say to you, I say to you. And the teaching today is one of those astonishing things too. It says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord. Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. I never knew you. Those are the words of Jesus that none of us ever want to hear. I never knew you. And what's so astonishing and surprising about these verses is that not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom. In other words, where, who are we talking about here that Jesus says, I never knew you? We're talking about Christians, people who profess the name of Jesus, referring to Jesus as Lord. These are not murderers and liars and cheaters and, you know, whatever else. This is the part of the Christian community. And Jesus says to them, I never knew you. What's the problem here? What is the problem here? Part of the problem, <clears throat> of course, is that words and actions need to align with each other. To profess Jesus is one thing, to live these teachings is another. But there's something even more. And the most important element is a relationship. A relationship with Jesus. So that when he sees us, he knows us. You know, this is entering into the kingdom. And he's looking at us and saying, I'm not sure I know you. Oh, yes, Lord. We're immediately defensive. Didn't we preach in your name? Didn't we drive out demons in your name? Didn't we do mighty deeds in your name? How can you say you didn't know us? And Jesus says, well... I don't know you. Where is the relationship? When we see the Lord face to face, we want to be able to say, Lord, I know you because I love you. And we have a relationship. And we enter into the kingdom. The conclusion of our reading today is uh, kind of words of action now that we've heard this sermon on the mount three chapters of jesus teachings and jesus said everyone who listens to these words 
the words of the Sermon on the Mount and acts on them will be like the wise man who built his house on rock. Storms come, floods come, and so on. You know, in life itself, whether we're good, whether we're evil, storms and floods will come. But the difference, what distinguishes us is, what is our house built on? What is my life built on? Is it built on these words? Is it built on living those words, acting upon them? Is it built on a relationship with the Lord? What is my foundation? What is my house built on? Hold that thought and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.